A flipping coin. A central example in probability theory. Two sides, each with the probability of landing on equal to one half. Well, not quite. Because what if it lands on the edge? Intuitively, this event has a non-zero probability. But for now, let us try to understand the following question. How thick should a coin be for the probability of landing on it to become one-third? The problem is not a trivial one like it might seem at a first consideration. I mean, if you look at this cylinder representing our coin, you might think that the area of a curved face must be equal to the area of one of the flat faces. So the equality of areas will imply the equality of probabilities. But here's the thing. A coin usually lands on the rim. When this happens, which side does it land on in the end? This problem suggests an assumption that we must accept in order to attack our problem. When a coin touches the ground after we flip it, we assume it does not rebound, so it will land on whichever side the gravity will topple it to. In the first example, we see that the gravity forces the coin to fall on its circular face. In the second case, the tilt is small and so we assume the coin stands on its edge. Now, a coin is a three-dimensional object, so there are 360 degrees of possible ways a coin can fall. We can, therefore, imagine a coin to be inscribed inside a sphere like this, and our problem reduces down to calculating the surface area of this blue segment because the gravity is parallel to any directions pointing to this blue area, then the coin will land on its edge. Obviously, we want this area to be one-third of the total area of a sphere. Now, here is a result that you can try to derive yourself. Surface area of a sphere segment bounded by two parallel planes is just 2 pi rh. So it only depends on the height h of the segment. If the height of our coin is h, then we require 2 pi rh to be equal to 4 thirds pi r squared. This gives h to be two-thirds of r. You can then use Pythagorean theorem to express h in terms of the radius of a coin. we see that it equals to roughly 0.354 r, so it takes up almost 35% of the diameter. So now we have the answer. 35% gives us a rather thick coin. If you want to verify the solution, you will need to construct the coin and drop it on some very sticky surface to avoid rebounding. We can now turn back to our initial problem. Take a coin from your wallet and calculate how unfair it is. That is, 
Google the dimensions of your coin and work backwards the previous calculation to see how likely is your coin to land on the edge. I will do the calculation for a one pound coin. Its radius is 11.5 millimeters and its width is 2.8. I just divide 2 pi rh by 4 pi r squared and get roughly 0.12. So this coin has a roughly 12% chance of landing on the edge. Thank you for watching and see you next time.